Hello everyone, welcome back to BK Engineering. In this video, we are going to learn how to do rendering using the software QSharp. First, we will go to the overview. See, first here, file tab. Here, we will get the new one. And next, here we can import the drawings. This is for saving. Here we will get the previous drawings if we had saved before. To export, file tab, export, export to the file. Environment, here we can change the background like lighting environment, color or black blackboard image, ground shadow, ground reflection etc. And here we will add the lightings like interior, jewelers, custom, basic or if we are rendering the any particular project we will use the product if we are rendering any jewelers we will use this now we are rendering the interior so we will get the interior here these are the camera settings here we will add the resolution presets like landscape, portrait, custom, all aspects, local resolution. And for render, here there are some like it takes screenshot of this image. And next, here we will get the render settings. And next, tools here we'll add the geometric tools material tools camera tools here we'll set the tools views here we can set our view like full screen presentation mode etc here window we'll set the workspace and toolbar settings ribbon settings etc next here help if you had any issues if you have any problem we can report here and using this learn we can learn the software okay see here adding library the library will come at left side project here we'll get the project tab okay now we'll go through the render settings here there are three types of render settings output options in this i am going to explain you about output and options first i am going with the output and one thing to open this render settings there are three tabs first we can click on this render icon and next here go to the ribbon render here we will set the render and next is using the short key control p okay now we are going to focus on these two points output and options next first i will go with the output see here we will add the still image settings here we can go with none or a system render customize also here we have to customize our setting and Here we can give our file names. Here we can select the folder where the render will. Sorry. Here we will select the folder where the render image will save. I will go with the pictures. Select folder. Okay. Here we can select the format like PNG, JPG. X, X, EXR, PSD. I will include the alpha transparency also. Here we can select our print size and resolution size. Layer and passes. Here we will select the all render passes like lighting, reflection, reflection and next normal shadow will select what we all need then again i'll select the region render here we can have the width and height 
we can give according to our image and next i am going with the animation here this are animation is basically a video rendering like here we'll have resolution we can give any width and height here i'll go with entire duration and video output like system render i'll go with the file session and the folder we have to select the folder here frame out here format i am going with mp4 format only here frame output and again the all render buttons okay we are going with the options next here there are three types default background and send to the network now i am going with default options see here we have to select the samples i am going with the maximum samples quality here we can have cpu usage here we'll set the cpu mode or anything here we'll have the samples number this is for maximum sample setting this is minimum time like how much time we have to render and this one is custom control here we will control the samples ray bounds shadow quality doof quality pixel filter size etc next here we will have sharp shadow next sharper texture filter now i am going with only the sharp shadow and global illusion sharp texture filling will take the lot of time for render so i am turn off it now go with render for rendering it will take some time see it will keep on rendering here it will take more time then after the completion of render we'll save the file using this save icon okay thank you happy rendering